focus your attention on the breath and watch it all the way in, all the way out. And again, all the way in, all the way out, again and again. If your mind wanders off, just drop whatever it is you were looking at and you'll be back at the breath. It takes some effort to stay with the breath, but it's a good effort. It's, this is a good job. There are lots of jobs in the world where you're doing work that's unpleasant and it's not for a good purpose. But this is work that is good. Whether it's easy or not, it's good work. As the Buddha said, it's good in the beginning, good in the middle, good in the end. You start out by doing things that you can be proud to do, and then you learn how to do them well. And they take them to a place that's really good as well, take you to a place that's really good as well. There are very few jobs in the world that are like this, so it's good to put in the effort right here. Because of all the work you can do in the world, this is the one that benefits you most directly. It straightens out your mind. And when your mind is straightened out, then your thoughts and your words and your deeds are going to get straightened out as well. And when they're straightened out, they're going to have a good impact on the rest of your life. So it all starts right here. So this is good work, even though you have to keep coming back, coming back, coming back. You try to make it pleasant by making the breath as pleasant as possible. But even then, there's a certain amount of effort that you have to put in. But then think of all the other things you could be putting effort into and not getting any results. And here, even though the results may come slowly, they're good results. And they go deep into the heart. So this kind of job is a good job to do. No one's going to pay you to do it, but you have to realize that it's for your own good. And that's what makes it worth doing. So stay with the breath, even as you get up and leave the, the sala here, and you can keep with the breath because it's going to go with you wherever you go. And after a while, you're going to find that it's your friend. And you find that you've got friends working together, then it's a lot more pleasant. Don't be working against the breath, but you do have to work against the greed, aversion, and delusion in your mind. But as long as you've got the breath as your friend, okay, it's not just one against many. You've got your own many inside. All the techniques you've learned for staying with the breath and calming the mind down, making the mind clear. These are all your friends in the battle. So as you work together, that's the best kind of friendship there is.